Okay, so this is the definition of natural accelerated gradient descent algorithm. So we first compute the yt plus 1. This is exactly the gradient descent from the current point xt. We just simply update um, 1 over beta step size times gradient of fxt. And then compute momentum xt plus 1. This is basically um, some interpolation between yt plus 1 and yt. But very interestingly, usual interpretation uh, interpolation is 1 minus alpha times a plus alpha times b and alpha in between 0 and 1. But in this case, we multiply larger than 1 value to current yt plus 1. And, less, and then negative value to yt and the sum of two weight equal to, to 1. Okay, so the, the definition of this form looks like um, not natural and somewhat strange. But when we rewrite the term of natural momentum method, uh, using yt plus 1 and yt, it is basically just a momentum method. So here yt plus 1 is yt plus some constant, this is mu, and times yt minus yt minus 1. So this is the last time update. minus 1 over beta gradient okay so this is the step size of your gradient method and your your gradient but one difference between momentum method and natural accelerated gradient descent algorithm is well this is just a momentum constant mu and this is just a step size of your gradient descent algorithm this is okay but the main difference between momentum method and the natural momentum method is this. In the momentum method, we just uh, simply compute the gradient of fyt. But in natural accelerated gradient method, we apply the gradient step after applying momentum. So we compute the gradient at point yt plus the momentum constant times less times to that update amount okay so the main difference between between momentum and natural method momentum method you compute xt plus one from the original gd and the momentum and when you run original gd you just compute the gradient at the current point xt but the natural method, you first apply the momentum method and then apply gradient descent algorithm. That is the main difference of natural accelerated gradient descent and momentum method. Okay, so basically natural method compute um, the gradient basically after estimating the, the position by momentum. Okay, next position. So, because in, in momentum method, we know that next time slot, the, the point yt plus 1 will be located nearby yt plus mu times the last time update length. Because we are implementing momentum method, we are learning momentum method, we know that yt plus 1 will be located nearby yt current time point plus the momentum point okay so i think it is more reasonable to compute the gradient after learning the momentum because we know that the yt plus one will be located nearby the yt plus mu times yt minus yt minus one so 
gradient at yt plus mu times yt minus yt minus 1 will be more useful information. Okay. So in practice, basically you can implement both momentum and natural momentum algorithm very easily. Okay, so if you uh, learn the PyTorch or TensorFlow, there are uh, very uh, basic option, momentum and natural momentum. And so if you are really interested in the, the convergence behavior of different optimization algorithms, I strongly recommend to learn uh, many different uh, machine learning algorithms with many different uh, optimization technique. And it is very easy to compare momentum and astro momentum. And I think the both algorithms will show very nice result and they quite similar in practice. But in theory, Nestro accelerated gradient descent algorithm perform most, much much better than original uh, momentum method. We can guarantee much more than the pure uh, momentum method. Okay. Why? Because Nestro method utilize the information momentum method will update yt plus 1 near to yt plus mu times xt uh, mu times yt minus yt minus 1. So when we use this information to compute the gradient, we can speed up more than simple grad, uh, momentum method. Right, so this is the result of natural accelerated gradient descent algorithm. So when f is alpha strongly convex and beta smooth, then the natural accelerated gradient descent algorithm satisfy Ft minus f x star less than or equal to alpha plus beta over 2 times x minus x star lambda square times exponential minus t minus 1 over square root kappa. So here kappa is the condition number. So this is value of um, beta over alpha. Okay. So why this is very nice result? Let's go back to the original gradient descent algorithm analysis when we have alpha strongly convex and beta smooth function when we learn gradient descent algorithm with step size 1 of beta what is the result? our fxt minus fx star is upper bounded by this that was the, the main result for the vanilla gradient descent algorithm so when we apply very simple um, inequality between this uh, real fun uh, the affine function and exponential function we can basically represent the convergence p like this so okay this is a uh, beta over 2 times the x0 minus x term norm square times ex exponential minus t over kappa so here the convergence p is um, minus t over kappa but this result is somewhat different. Uh, this result is exponential minus t minus 1 over square root 2 kappa. So kappa versus square root 2 kappa when beta over alpha is very huge so this case this case the mo momentum natural momentum algorithm natural accelerated gradient descent algorithm can converge much much faster than original gradient descent algorithm okay so this is very very nice convergence property 